Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 33. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the 15 minute races. And we are taking this, the Nissan GTR R35 Touring Car. We've put a couple of upgrades. we put so much upgrades, I needed to put a 85% performance limiter on. We are at 700 horsepower. I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit overpowered, a little bit cheating. But it's going to be fun. We're going around Apricot Hill Raceway, then the Ascari track, and then the Nürburgring. So let's start with Apricot Hill Raceway. Our typical cars are GT3 cars. So, right, here we go. GTR Touring Car. We're going to try and gain as many positions in the first few laps. But remember, this is a 15 minute race so we have plenty of time awesome Perfect. Oh! I have a feeling we're on five traction control as well. Um, I don't think I turned it down. So, our car is actually um, being restricted. Quite extreme. And we uh, managed to slip inside out at the rear there. I think I did the longest race I had ever done, though, um, in GT Sport the other day. Uh, I think it was like a 30 lap endurance. It managed to last like 45 minutes. It was crazy. Oh, Lister. Let's get past you. I'm predicting about 10 laps. Um, yeah. Roughly about 10 laps, I think, we'll get in. Nice. We've got the perfect breaking point there, too. Come on, come on, get back on the track. Uh, if that's more than 20 seconds behind, I'm going to be so gutted. Uh, 17, it's fine, we only lost about a second. This isn't going to be easy. Look at the car up here first. I think that's actually an R35 touring car like ours. So hopefully we can still catch up with them. It will be very annoying if we can't. Perfect. A 
look at the car. The interior is fairly simple of this one, though. It's a very simple interior. I'm going to stick with our favourite view, though. I thought that was first place on the main straight there, and I was like, no way has first place got that far ahead. It wasn't, luckily. Tell me this is less than 15. Oh, it is. That's decent. We are gaining time, just not at a pace I want to be. Back on the track, perfect. 12.7, okay. gaining a large amount of distance now. About 40% into the race as well. I can see the cars now. That's something we couldn't say a minute ago. Point nine seconds behind. That first corner, though, we're never going to get a very good um, time on. Go, go, go. Perfect. This is looking very good here. Come on, come on, come on. Halfway through the race now. Look, the GTR got overtaken. The GTR is now quite far behind. Perfect. 
Right, we're catching up with the cars up ahead. I'm not 100% sure what they are. That looks like a GT Citroen. It does look like a GT by Citroen. And it is. And that's the F1 GT and the F1 Le Mans as well. And then we overtake the Opal, which is the same as the Vauxhall. Oh, not quite in first place yet. Are we going to get past you? Oh, he's gone wide. He's intimidated by a Nissan about to overtake him. Right, keep it towards the inside here. Come on, let me pass. Ah, nearly lost total control of the car through that. That would have been insane. I feel like we might actually get more than 10 laps. We could get 12, I think. It's definitely possible to get 12 laps on this. Maybe. Who knows? The F1 is right behind us, though. So we need to watch out for him trying to overtake us. Whoa! He's going to take opportunities. He's going to take that chance. Oh, not quite. Okay. 0 0.4 seconds ahead. When it's less than a second, that's when people normally make mistakes because they start to stress out. Because when you're that close, you can't afford to let your guard down for even a second. And the timer has gone yellow, which means we've got less than three minutes left. Yeah, we're going to hit 12 laps, easy. The F1 got stuck behind that uh, other Nissan. That's decent. That helps us out big time. Two seconds behind now. We can afford to slow down a little bit and not stress ourselves out. But if we make another mistake, we will lose this race. So we need to try and just get to the finish, not um, try and win. Obviously, our fastest lap was... Oh, the last one. I was about to say it was lap number four. But that last lap was really good. Perfect. What are you doing? Come on. Let me through. I want to get 12 lap in. Oh. 
Hopefully the McLaren has gotten stuck in that group of cars back there. He has. And the timer is about to run out as well. So some cars are even going to be stuck two laps behind. But most cars are going to be stuck one lap behind. And entry for the next lap has just closed. So we did manage to squeeze 12 laps in. I predicted 10 at the start, so that is pretty crazy. All we need to do is finish the lap in front of the F1. Don't have to worry about any other cars. Perfect. And let's go. Across the line. Finish. Right, let's see how that went. So we had two cars that didn't were two laps behind. Uh, and only four cars actually managed to make it onto the uh, 12th lap. Interesting. Right, here we go. Race number two. And it's a black screen again. Thank you. What is it with the Ascari track giving us a black screen? There's definitely a massive bug with that, but uh, not my problem. So we got uh, the same kind of cars as the last race. Um, but it's probably going to be a lot less laps because this is a longer track. So I'm aiming for about nine, I think. I think nine's a safe bet. Ten could be possible, but nine's a safe bet. Here we go. Nice. Come on. Very nice braking zone there. Come on, round the corners. Ah! Oh! Right, we lost the position to the R8. I was going into, like, total concentration mode through there. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get past the R8. Nice. I forgot I had to commentate. I wonder why it was quiet. Uh, based on my calculations, two minutes. Seven is 14. We're going to be pushing for eight. We're genuinely going to be pushing for an eighth lap. So I think I'm going to shift it from uh, aiming for nine to guaranteed seven, aiming for eight. Because we were going to say guaranteed nine, aiming for ten. But uh, after that, yeah, I think I changed my mind. Perfect. What's up with the tyres today? It's another instance of that F1 race where the tyres just like didn't work. Do you remember that race? That was a crazy race. 
It was like tyres exploding everywhere. Insane. Oh, and that racer, um, I think it was Silverstone. Where they were going around one of the tight hairpin corners, but it was absolutely chucking it down and like five, six cars crashed into the gravel trap. Move! Stuck in my way. Right. I see the three cars. Let's see if we can catch up with them. Don't think it's going to be too much of a problem, though. Because we are flying. Awesome. Very good, right. Let's get around this corner. Smoothness is key. I think my finger's going numb. Right, there is the other GTR 35 touring car. There's two of them in the pack. Um, and then the F1s are up in the lead now. Oh wait, no, there's only one F1, I think. There goes the McLaren F1. What is this car though? Dodge Viper. In first place. Interesting. The noise that that car makes. Oh my god. Come on, let's catch up. Pick up the pace. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Watch it, watch it. Don't crash into it, please. Perfect. Nice. Come on. Awesome. Nice. Oh, slow down, yeah. That corner's a little bit dangerous. So we're gonna have to watch out for that a couple of times. But time-wise, we are coming up to the halfway mark. Awesome. We've done much better than we were doing on Apricot Hill, um, but I have a feeling our car is much more better around corners and especially the acceleration on the corner exit. Maybe top speed isn't a strong suit for this car, 
but definitely corner exit speed is a strong point. Five seconds ahead, look at that. Come on, let's go. Whoa! Went a bit wide there. But as long as we're in first place, it doesn't really matter. Perfect. We didn't get caught out by that corner again. It genuinely doesn't show a braking line there, which is interesting. I am going to make a uh, pre-release prediction um, for GT7, and I'm going to say the game's probably going to be about 150 gigabytes. And if it's not 150 gigabytes, I'm going to be a bit disappointed because GT Sport is like 90. So, yeah, I'm expecting a lot from Gran Turismo 7 in terms of storage. And I would love, because it's taken them like nearly seven, eight years to make GT7, I would love to see the old cars, because obviously they've remastered the cars for, like the Bugatti Veyron was a um, standard car in GT5, and it's been made into like a proper premium map car. Obviously all the cars in GT Sport are probably going to be like the premiums in GT7 but at least I hope that most of the cars are going to have a high quality texture to them because I feel like they can't have the textures that GT5 had like the texture difference between their standard cars and their premium cars were massive G GT6 they improved on it but they can't they need to make sure it looks stunning for it to sell really well. Nice. Didn't get caught out by that corner again. Perfect. I think I mentioned in the last episode as well, the big feature that I want to see in GT7 being um, the track mastery. I really want that to be a thing and every single track and every single variation have a track mastery tree because that one gives you a load of like rewards and stuff like that that you can then use to get because doing that and doing the missions in GT Sport is so much easier than just doing races you earn a lot more money from um, the actual track mastery and stuff like that so having that as an option and even if the track mastery gets unlocked after halfway through the main story which would be the perfect position to actually have it because you then get the more advanced races it would be great to see that but we are now into the yellow zone so we are coming on to the end of this race this is the second to last lap I think there will be one more lap That was terrible. Honestly, 
I wasn't that excited for Gran Turismo or the PS5. Um, but once they announced it, and since playing these ones, I'm really looking forward to playing GT7. And I'm more excited for GT7 than I was for um, 30 seconds ahead. That is a massive time difference. Um, but yeah, I'm more excited for G7 than uh, Dirt 5. And from the gameplay that I've seen from Dirt 5, it looks a little bit disappointing. It doesn't look like it's captured the um, style that GT... Um, why am I saying GT? That Dirt 2 and 3 managed to get. Um, that style just isn't there. To be fair though, Dirt will probably grow on me, Dirt 5, but they're going to have to do a great job to impress me. Nice. That is awesome. There we go. Perfect. Slow down, please. Thank you. And that is it. Timer is over. This is the final lap. I only think one or two cars actually, other than ourselves, actually made it onto uh, lap number And here we go, coming on to the final corner. And across the line, finish. That was crazy. Only one car managed to make it through onto that final lap. Every other car made was on lap seven before the timer ended. And that McLaren F1 was three seconds short of getting an eighth lap. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Oh,